All right, sorry I'm a little bit late. I was having trouble connecting, but there we go. All right, it's working now. My name is Caddy Januzzi, and I am a senior at the University of Vermont. I'm studying public communications, and I'm working with CCTV right now in order to uh, raise more awareness for CCTV and everything that it brings to the community. So right now I'm working with um, a few other students and it's for a senior capstone project. So I am joined today by Margo Higgins and I just saw that she logged on. I do want to wait just one minute. Okay, so I'm going to accept Margo now. We're not expecting too many people to join the live at the moment, but we are going to be saving this to a reel on the Instagram page for future views. So I've sent a request to Margo. I'm just going to wait. Hi. Hello. It's so nice Hi. to meet you. Yes, thank, you as well. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I totally. And I know this is going to be great for the CCTV Instagram. Yeah, so, this is a super cool project. Yeah, no, it's really interesting. It's really cool. And it's important to, to just like, you know, raise awareness amongst college students. You're a student at, are you a student at UVM? No, I graduated in 2019. Oh, okay. All right. I thought, I thought that might've been the case, but yeah. Were you, so you can start off introducing yourself before we get into it. Yeah, my, name, my <laughs> name's Margot. I've lived in Burlington for six years now. Um, I graduated from UVM with a studio art degree and an English minor. Cool. That's awesome. So are you from Vermont originally or? No, I'm from Massachusetts. And I moved here for, for school, um, and I pretty much knew when I moved here that I wanted to live here, uh, so I have been here ever since. That's awesome. So I just want to kind of get into it a little bit. So when you, when did you become politically active at, you know, in um, Berlin? Yeah, my first semester at school, I got involved with UVM Students for Bernie Sanders, and it was 2015, so it was like the peak of, of Bernie's first presidential campaign. And that really pushed me into that whole realm of, of you know, student activism and organizing. So when you were, were you active throughout your whole college experience or? Yeah, so I started with UVM Students for Bernie Sanders, which ended up being a lot of, um, phone banking in town at like the Bernie office and we went door knocking in uh, New Hampshire. And then after that, I was volunteering for a nonprofit called Headcount, which registers voters at concerts. So I would be at higher ground, you know, with a clipboard registering people to vote. Um, but throughout UVM, there was so much student organizing and it was so easy to get involved um, that I was, you know, showing up for, for whatever um, mm -hmm. the latest organizing was. And my junior year, I volunteered for the Infinite for Mayor campaign. So that was like my first local Burlington uh, real like political involvement. How many local um, political movements have you been involved in? Um, I mean... Mostly it's been the, the main two were Infinite for Mayor and then most recently the Max Tracy for Mayor campaign. Um, and that was my first like hired position for, wow. for a campaign. That's awesome. So what made you want to join? Were you politically active before you came to Vermont or what made you want to get involved in especially local politics? Because everyone, you know, people are maybe more inclined to get involved in the, you know, higher up, more expansive kind right. of politics. So what made you want to start, you know, working locally? Right. That's, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know that I was necessarily interested in politics, but there were so many issues I cared about. And it, you know, became clear that 
politics was the avenue that you answer these questions in or that you, you know, push for rights or, or all these issues I cared about. Um, so just by nature of that, like I found groups on campus and in town that were working on those issues um, and really spoke to me. So I sort of just ended up in these places because I, I cared about what was going on and I, I ended up really loving the Burlington community and you know, those opportunities just turned up and it was just so obvious, you know, when they do, it's like, oh yeah, of course I care about that. Like, what can I, can I do? Yeah. And, you know, you end up being in, involved in it. Yeah. So what were some things that, you know, sparked your interest that you felt really passionate about that you, made you want to join, you know, some campaigning and made you care? Yeah. I mean, racial justice is an issue that I care deeply about. And that was, I think, one of the first ones that really pushed me to be involved on campus and in town, um, as well as housing security and food security. And I remember especially when um, the Infinite for Mayor campaign happened, I had now been living in Burlington. It was my third year. So I was getting a better feel for, you know, what this community is like and what it's like to live here. Um, and I remember when Infinite uh, came, he came to speak to the UVM students on campus about why he was running. And he said, we become leaders out of love. Mm -hmm. And that spoke to me so much about like why you show up and do that kind of work. And it's yeah. because you love your community. And if you have a skill set to offer, you know, you offer it. So that's just sort of how, it, how it's gone for me. I love, I love that, you know, we show up out of love, like we do this love and everything and I feel like that that kind of answers the question I was going to ask next is why would you say it's important for college students to get involved locally right I mean that and then also I I, I want more students to know that if you go to school here like you are a member of the Burlington community right. yeah and whether you know it or not you have a really powerful voice and there's been a long history of student activism in Burlington. And, you know, I think students, I don't want them to shy away from it. And I think over the past few years that has, has run really strong. Like during this past mayoral campaign, I saw the UVM students show up in such a big way. Uh, so it's exciting to, to see that. Um, I also think like I just really found a place in the community through doing that work. And I just think it's a great way to engage with, with Burlington and, and be a part of something meaningful. Yeah, definitely. Um, were you, when you were doing your campaigning and everything, like what was that process like? How did you, you know, get yourself involved like that? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm trying to think about how like I first got into a campaign at all. I mean, it was really student organizing is such a strong um, network at UVM. And once you start showing up a little bit, like Vermont is small enough that people, people remember you and you'll get tapped, you know, for whatever the next thing is. And I remember when, uh, you know, the Infinite campaign came up, I volunteered to sort of be like the student connection there. Mm -hmm. And I started doing their social media and doing like fun content, uh, like that was sort of aimed towards students. Right. And then that came up again. So when Max Tracy ran for mayor, I got tapped because of that same sort of student network and, and someone I had known mm -hmm. from, you know, doing student organizing. And I got called in to do like a very similar role of, of social media and more graphic design. Um, and I think it was just sort of like I knew that that was my skill set and I had sort of made that known. And, you know, that's what I had to offer. And I think it's like, yeah, figuring out what you have to offer and sort of making that a little bit known. And people will, will ask, you know, these are all great movements that, that need people power. Um, yep. So once you sort of start putting yourself out there, I think it just gets easier and easier to, to get involved. Yeah, that's what I was gonna, that touches upon my next question is, if you had to give advice to you know, an incoming freshman who doesn't really know how to get involved in a community that they're not familiar with, what would your advice be? Um, I mean, first, firstly, uh, the UVM groups are such a great connection, 
just walking through the Davis Center, all the groups that table out there. I know that UVM Progressives did a really great job this last campaign. That's a great like starting place to, to get your to get yourself out there. And I think my advice would be to lean into a little bit of discomfort at first. Because, you know, campaign work, if you haven't done it, it's new and putting yourself out there can be nerve wracking and leaning into that and like being able to grow and meet challenges is so rewarding and teaches you so much. And that to me is like, I, like, I didn't think I could do phone banking. It's like when you, you call voters, yeah. I'm so nervous on the phone. I, you know, and then for Bernie Sanders, it's like, that's what they needed. So I right. showed up so nervous, but a few calls in all of a sudden you're like, I'm talking to people. I can do this. I care about the issues. I, I can do this, you know? Yeah. And I think that especially like in, you know, in current times, like actually showing up for stuff is like a lot less frequent. Like we're usually doing it through yep. like a platform, like really showing up is rewarding and so worth it. I think you just have to like lean into that, yeah. that feeling. So now that you, you're still living in the Burlington, area, do you see yourself continuing this activism and this involvement? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to live in Burlington, and I'm interested in community building wherever it is, and I want to continue doing stuff that I think builds community, you know? And politics yeah. is for sure, like, one route to do that, and I just am going to continue to keep meeting, you know, meeting challenges as they come and opportunities, um, but, you know, leaning into that community building for as long as I live here. Yeah. Do you see yourself living here for, you know, the next several years definitely 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 yeah That's yeah I'm, I, I would move you know? yeah you're making your mark here clearly making your voice heard which is what matters definitely yeah and I I think it's uh like another you know thing for students is like I think there's a, a misconception about who can be involved in politics mm -hmm. and like you don't have to you don't need to be pursuing a job in politics to get involved here it's like anyone can and should you know have their voice heard that's how the system works yeah I'm not gonna even lie I was assuming that maybe your major had been something you know along the more like political route but to to hear that you're just you know it's just something that you care about is very relatable I think to a lot of people right totally yeah, yeah. and I think that that's you know Burlington's a, a better place to live when more people have their voice heard and work together and you know, whatever it is you care about, whatever realm it is you work in or do, like, there's an avenue in which politics, you know, can support you. And yeah, so I think anyone can do it. Anyone should, should try and engage themselves however they can. And do you have any future plans, any aspirations, anything that you hope to do, any, you know, future campaigning that you think you um. I mean, I'm currently working at, like, a design marketing job that I love, uh, so I want to keep doing that, and it's, like, you know, and it's still a way that I get to be engaged with the community, so I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, I just want to keep keep living here and, and do community building. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to hike Mount Mansfield. I haven't done that, so that's a yeah a goal but <laughs> yeah that's awesome I haven't done that either and I'm gonna be graduating yeah. soon <laughs> Definitely. yeah it's one of those ones everyone says it's like I think once you get to the top it's one yeah. of those ones where you're like I'll, I'll, I'll get it you know yeah. definitely so I have one more question and it's um have you heard of CCTV throughout your years I most recently heard of it through working the campaign um, because of all of the digital uh, debates. Yeah. Um, we're talking about this is just like town meeting TV. Yeah, town meeting TV. Yes, totally. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I didn't really know about it before this past campaign because obviously like, the nature of debates and, and campaigning had changed so much. But uh, town meeting TV really stepped up to the plate with those virtual debates. I mean, they... Yeah, definitely. Awesome resource. To, you know, expose more people to town meeting TV. And yeah, make some interest amongst the college age demographic. Yeah, I was so impressed to see that YouTube channel. There's always, always yeah. uh, yep, something there, on you can watch. 
some live stuff and some yep yeah the neighborhood planning assemblies like that's awesome that's our next project is we're going to be taking some content from the youtube channel and um downloading it and putting it on the instagram to you know continue to inform people without so they can just stay on one platform so that's awesome yeah i'm so excited to hear that students are are continuing to be involved like that just makes me so happy yeah me too well, I really appreciate you talking to me just for this quick, brief interview. You are such a wonderful person, I can just tell. And I really enjoyed speaking with you, honestly. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the community and that you're going to get it. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> you too. Thank you.